as we can see now with the discussion around um, Sweden joining NATO, uh, the Turkish state is putting a lot of pressure on various European states to criminalize um, to, uh, Kurdish uh, citizens uh, and accusing them of terrorism. Uh, this was the case in Belgium for some time. There were uh, quite a lot of criminal proceedings uh, ongoing against um, Kurdish institutions, Kurdish media, uh, Kurdish uh, associations active in Belgium. Um, these uh, criminal proceedings are now over following uh, an important decision uh, by uh, Belgian courts that was confirmed by the Belgian Court of Cassation, the, the, the most uh, the highest court in the country. Uh, this decision is based in an article of the Belgian uh, Criminal Code which implements one of the preambles of the, um, uh, the, the European Directive uh, Combating Terrorism. Uh, this preamble states that um, European anti-terrorism criminal law should not be used against parties in an international armed conflict that are governed by international humanitarian law. So the whole uh, debate was uh, around whether there is currently an international armed conflict between the Turkish state on one part and the PKK on the other part. Um, and this discussion was concluded by a definitive decision by the Belgian courts that there is such an armed conflict and that as a result PKK should be considered a party in this armed conflict and therefore uh, citizens cannot be prosecuted uh, based on anti-terrorism offenses for their perceived um, membership of the PKK. The criminal proceedings were ongoing um, around 2014-2015. Uh, there were uh, various appeals but this was uh, confirmed uh, by, the, by the Cassation Court, so now there are no longer um, anti-terrorism criminal proceedings against um, sus uh, people suspected of membership of the PKK. This, uh, the exemption of the PKK from anti-terrorism criminal law was based on an article in the Belgian law which itself is an implementation of one of the preambles of the European Directive. This means that this, um, this case law uh, could be used in other European states to argue that actually uh, the, the, the common European uh, criminal legislation against terrorism cannot be used against PKK. Uh, so we've we have, uh, besides the, the, the testimonies over the, the prison condition in Imrali, we have also uh, met with some people who have been denouncing uh, apparent uh, war crimes by the Turkish state. We have heard about chemical weapon attacks. We have heard about um, uh, torture and mutilation of uh, dead bodies. Um, this is all obviously uh, very shocking and uh, we are hoping uh, that there would be a serious investigation uh, about those crimes.